So far in this test, there have been several decisions which would have been overturned if the decision review system was in place. Rachel Tiffin explains why, even though the technology is available, the umpires aren't allowed to use it. Looking to attack them. Another day and another wrong call. There's an inside edge. They're very, very keen. They've got one. Replays showing that Eunice Khan clearly missed the ball. Poor old Eunice Khan. Yet another illustration of why the DRS must be brought in. Khan's dismissal today is just one of a number of calls this series that should have gone the other way. It's a problem the umpire decision review system was designed to stop. But its trial period is up and its providers have pulled stumps. We'll draw a line, we're drawing a line in the sand. The ICC needs to decide with all of its nations, you either use it or you don't use it. Ian Taylor says the system needs to be standardised to ensure quality across the board, from hotspots to predictive paths. And commentator and former Black Cap Simon Dole agrees. Bart says the ICC won't budge without India's backing. If Sachin Tendulkar and MS Dhoni don't like the DRS, then it's not going to be used. Um, so, you know, it's a bit of a shame. A shame for the series. It is their test, test match has been uh, sort of uh, suffered because of that, and I think it, it should be used. And while New Zealand cricket supports the system, they say regulating it isn't simple. The ICC can't just mandate for this to be used. Uh, throughout the world because there are, you know, each individual cricket board has its own relationships with its broadcasters and, and we are usually looking to the broadcasters to, to if you like, on-source this technology. Vaughan says the review system was to be used in the World Cup, but that's now under review as well. Rachel Tiffin, 3 News.